Well, summer parties are in full swing. Many people find hosting the actual party lots of fun, but making all that food, not so much. Well, Chef Diego Burgos from Michael Jordan Steakhouse and Sol Toro at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut is here to show us some ways to throw some of summer's best part or the best crowd pleasers for summer parties. There we go. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry. Glad to be here. A little tongue tied. We're happy to have you. So you're gonna a, a crowd favorite is always guacamole. Yes, you can't go wrong with guacamole, especially during the summertime. And we have some nice, beautiful ingredients here. I will throw it together. Yes. Right so yeah, show us how you do this. Yeah, so it's, it's always nice to have the avocado with the pit out already ready to go. So mm -hmm. this is the traditional mocajete. It's a volcanic stone. Oops. Ooh, I got a little man down. So. <laughs> Here, okay. And you want to empty it out into here, get your ingredients. And then we have a little roasted garlic, which is a little oh. upgrade over just chopped garlic. You can okay. roast it in some olive oil. Oh, that's interesting. A little chopped onion, cilantro, fresh tomato, if everybody has gardens at home, a little bacon. Mm. You put bacon. You can put a little bacon in there as well. Some charred corn, give it a little little smoky touch. Oh. Some serrano peppers. These are a little hotter than a jalapeno. So put Wait, that in as you like. Hotter <clears throat> than a jalapeno. Give it a little heat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little salt. And then of course your lime. Mm. A little spritz there. And then you take your the, the mortar and pistol. Mm -hmm. And when you make this, if you you really you can't make it ahead. Otherwise, any tips for it not turning brown? I would leave save the pit, okay. and you can add the pit to the to the guacamole. Oh really? Yeah, and it'll 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 get by it some time. It, it won't save it overnight, but right. you would definitely have some time. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. I don't the understand. Pit. So you take the pit and you stick <laughs> and it in the guacamole, and you, that you, that will help. The, it's... the pit it'll it'll act like it's still. One, wow. and it'll some of the enzymes and protein will help it out. Oh, wonderful. And, and Chef, mm -hmm. what is, what, I always have the hardest time picking well, avocados. <laughs> what, is, what is your advice for picking an avocado that's good? Well, you would want to grab it and feel for tenderness mm -hmm. all around it. And, and it's got to be just tender to the touch. Okay, so yeah. just, you don't yeah. like those really, really firm the ones. The real, really firm ones. A little mm -hmm. trick to that, okay. you can put it in a bag with a banana. Oh. Yes, and then put that somewhere, maybe in an oven, make sure it's not on, uh -huh. and it'll start releasing the enzymes, and the dark will, will, will turn that overnight. And it's a oh. paper bag. A paper bag, a brown paper bag. That's another it's good a, tip it's a to trick. Know. It helps for other fruits as well. It helps for avocados oh, as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Never knew that. Okay, so now the next thing you're going to show us is what here? This is a michelada. This so is really it's a beer good. cocktail, mm. um, and it's very similar to a Bloody Mary, but with a light Mexican lager instead of vodka. So here I am rimming in a little lime juice and a little tahine seasoning. It's going to give it a little smoky, a little sweet seasoning. Use a light Mexican lager. Mm -hmm. And then your tomato juice. How much tomato juice do you use? About three ounces to okay. about three quarters of a beer. I'd say about eight ounces. Mm -hmm. Then you can garnish up to whatever you like. Here we have a little fresh chorizo and queso fresco. Wow. We have a little Mexican shrimp cocktail. Celery stock. This is something cool we've done. It's a bacon straw. So you <laughs> that can, does look really cool. Yeah. And then we have a little black and mahi mahi oh mini taco. You know what's great? That the actual drink is really simple. Then you can kind of garnish it. Then you can garnish it, bring it up whatever you want. You can put your dead bubbly little hot sauce Ooh. over there. That will be impressive to party goers <laughs> if you come up with that. And if you, and if you are happen if you happen to be heading to the Mohegan Sun this summer, mm -hmm. there's some other things on your menu that we can yes, try so we also, as well. We, we have our, our Soltoro Mexican restaurant, mm -hmm. and then we have Michael Jordan Steakhouse as well. Mm -hmm. So here we have our triangle offense. Uh, it's a beautiful <laughs> crab cake with colossal crab meat, mm -hmm. smoked bacon, Look and maple how glaze. Big this bacon is. That looks yeah. amazing. It's ridiculous. beautiful, beautiful I'm cut eat bacon. It. <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. And then you have some steak. Some as well. garlic bread, dry aged ribeye, and then a beautiful porterhouse for two. You can share with your loved one. And you just started at the Mohegan Sun. I right? did. I've been there for about three months. And what's it been like so far? It's been awesome. It's been a great experience. Great people. Uh, we're doing some really, really cool things. It's and awesome. Great food as well.